Here we are down in downtown Oslo by the port and here is the Nobel Peace Center. This is where they hand out the Nobel Peace Prize every year. Obama was here not too long ago to receive his. We're going to go take a ferry ride now. Here's the Oslo Harbor and we're gonna go see the Viking ships. This is the Oseberg Viking ship. It was built around 820 AD, so that makes it more than uh, 1100 years old, which is wild. Look at that detail that survived all that time. It was used as a burial ship, so a powerful Viking woman was buried with her maidservant in this, along with food and horses. This is the first Viking ship ever to be discovered. It's called the Toon Ship, and it's over 1,000 years old as well. And it's thought that it was probably a fast ocean-going vessel. Here we are at Vigland's Park. Very famous sculpture park in Norway, in Oslo. So this perhaps is the most uh, intriguing sculpture of them all, this pillar. Uh, the artist died before he could explain what it meant. Some people think it's people trying to climb up to heaven or escape from hell. No one really knows what it's supposed to mean. It is beautiful though. This time of year in Oslo, the air is filled with the smell of lilacs. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, 
this has been an unbelievable trip for anyone who's been following the blog, you know that already, but I think for the two of us, especially being here, um, it's been life changing. We've said that before and I, I truly mean it. Um, it's been awesome. There are no words for every day being an absolute amazing experience, you know? It's awesome. Yeah. Aww, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. To try to like put this experience into words and uh, it is really difficult. I wish that I could just put everyone inside my head so that you can see the things that I've seen and, and hear the memories that I remember, the laughs, um, <laughs> the laughs that we laughed so hard we cried. <laughs> <laughs> there was a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the sights that took our breath away, the stories that really touched our hearts that we couldn't believe that we had the possibility to, to talk to such people and tell such amazing stories. And this experience has been really, really life-changing. It's been the experience of a lifetime. And I know this sounds so cliche, but it like it's so true. Um, this is something I will never, ever forget. I've grown a lot. I've learned a lot about myself. Um, it's been a great journey of self-discovery and journalistic growth and I am so looking forward to to the future and this experience is is part of that and I'm so grateful for it goodbye King Harold goodbye Oslo goodbye Norway <laughs> <laughs>